is Killer Exa 89 on PokerStars. I thought I'd do a video of the new format I just began playing this year. It's the 180 man 2.5 dollar sit and goes. So, just a spoiler, I just got second in this. I didn't get first because, well, you'll see. But here we go. This is just uh, me showing you how I played the hands. You can leave in the comments below if I play them well or bad. You can give tips or recommendations. So the first hand, a7. We get a 3x raise and a cold call. So I'll just fold. King 5, a fold. King 5 suited. We won't be playing any of these hands early on you have plenty of time to wait for a better hand ace deuce now we just fold eight five suited I folded king queen we get a limper so I folded yeah, that was a correct move. We don't really want to play those type of hands anyway. 2-7, a bunch of junk hands coming up. A6. With the blinds 100, I really would not like to play with a weak ace. That's why I think I folded. Yeah. Here looks like a guy. 3.5 x rays, we get a shove. He calls, yep, he has ace king c. That's exactly what I'm talking about right here. Full house. Jack deuce, 4 8. Okay, ace jack, finally a hand we can play. So this guy just limps. And with the pot 375 with a hand as good as ace jack with um I have about 12 30 chips remaining. I, I just decide to shove. I don't know if it's a good move or not, but I decide let's just get it in and hope for the best. And he falls, so I don't know if that's a good play or a bad play, but it worked. Ten tree suited. Fold, fold, oh, pocket queens. We get a raise, and I just decide to shove. Because me winning the entire pot, my chips will go up to like 2200, so that's a major boost. I hope he just calls. He shows ace 9, we just need to dodge that wicked ace. And we do. We end up with trip queens. So now we have uh, a stack size of 3200 with the blinds 100 and 200 so we're uh, at above average chip stack so that's good. 5 king, we fold, ace king. We get a raise. Once again, I think I just shove and just hope for the best. He has pocket tens. Was my ace king and right on the flop we hit our king. Take down a very nice pot and now we're up to seven thousand chips early on with only about thirty four hands played. Um here we're gonna come around to a bunch of junk hands. Ten deuce five queen five nine eight six junk hands. We're not gonna call a raise with ace three in the big blind. Just let him take it. Now, it's good to be able to steal. If I steal this pot, I would collect about 650 chips. But with the hand like seven three, it's just not worth it to risk your tournament tournament life on a hand like this. Maybe a min raise, but I think he would. Maybe we shove over me, then I'm forced to fold. So with a hand like seven three, it's a automatic fold. Don't even try to steal at the micros with 
a hand like that. Uh, this jack is ace jack. I make it a 2x raise and take down the blinds and antis. 9 king, 6 9, queen 7. Alright, pocket queens. I think this was the most key hand I played in the entire tournament because it gave me a nice stack. I had no idea he might have turned over aces, but I'm glad the results ended this way. I flop a monster quads. Only way he could win is by flopping runner runner ace. I mean turning and revering runner runner ace, so it's not gonna happen. Though it has happened in the past, I'm glad it didn't happen with me. So finally I crack aces instead of aces cracking me. So I go up to about 13,000 chips. I'm looking very good at the moment. We get an all in. I. Well, this is a scary move right here. When someone goes all in and the guy on your right just flat calls, that's a scary move. It's like he's inviting you in to call. Maybe he has a huge pocket pair or ace king or something so I wouldn't get involved. Oh he has ace jack. Let's see. Okay he made a straight. So yeah when that happens it's just a big scare to me. I wouldn't get involved with anything less than maybe pocket jacks or something. Pocket queens. We're seeing more junk hands here. King Jack. I folded. Interesting fold. I guess I was afraid of the big stack here. I didn't want to tangle with him, so I just opted to fold with King Jack suited. Um, I get King Jack again, and I fold once again. Pocket 5 he showed. Ace 9. Maybe I am playing a bit too tight, but I hate I hate playing with weak aces in middle position like that. I prefer it to be more in like late position. Pocket 8. I think I folded this being super tight again. Which maybe was a mistake. I could have just shoved or made it 2.5x or something. Yeah. Nine queen, I fold. Ace king suited. Now, the pot is already 1800. That's a huge, a huge amount of chips already on the fo on the table. So, and this guy raises to 1600. So he makes the pot to 3400. There's no other um, play but to shove, but he already, he doesn't even have any chips. He just made it look like he's uh, min raising with a lot of chips, but he only has 21 chips anyway, so shove anyway. He shows 8-5. He's pretty much drawing dead on the flop. Now drawing dead. And he's gone. Alright, deuce queen. I thought it's time I started stealing, so I min raise, got a call. And this was a crazy play on my part. If he even had a 10 or pocket 8, I'm guaranteeing you he would make the call. So I don't know if I had a read on this guy or what, but I decided on the flop I needed to shove to take this pot down because I want a healthy stack to try and make it to the final table. So right there I take it down and I win about, uh, I have 16,000 chips in total. So that was a crazy play on my part. Let me know what you think about that play. Jack 7, 10 king, fold. 
five deuce. Not gonna play those hands. Ace ten. The limper. I just decide to fold. Nine ten suited. I fold. Ace queen. I just opted to shove. I don't really want to raise and then get re raised and I have to shove all in anyway. I just rather shove and take down the blinds and anties right there. Uh, let's see. A bunch of junk hands are coming up. Ace 5. I limped behind just to see a flop. If I had a suited ace, I would definitely be calling um, this raise right here. At least to see one more card. Hoping they flop, a sh I mean, I turn a straight or a flush, but I'm not calling 2000 with a gut shot. Um, 5 8, 9 10 suited, I fold. A screen. I opted to min raise this time for some reason. I think it was better if I just shove, but at least I got this guy um, a shorter stack to shove all in, and I have him dominated, completely dominated. He will need a jack to basically win. And I turn a queen, ending his tournament life. Now I go up to 21,000 chips. Um, here we're going to have a bunch of junk hands. Hands I just didn't play. Ace deuce under the gun. Easy fold. Shove a queen 10. I don't know if this guy folded if I would have just called because the pot was just ridiculous. I think I had odds maybe to call a queen 10. I'm not sure. Queen 10 suited. That's pretty borderline, but I don't know if I would make the call. Maybe I would have fall. Never know. Queen 10. I would have been better than this guy here, but pocket 7s. Let's see. Okay, I would have had the best hand on the flop, and I would have got screwed on the turn, so. But that's just being um, result oriented. Maybe I would have made the call with Queen 10 suited because the pot would have been so huge. It wouldn't have costed me that much more. So I think I would have made the call if this guy didn't get involved. His jacks got cracked. He's out. Both of them are. Uh, five king. If he didn't um, shove all in, I might have three x rays to hope this guy folds or even shoves. So, but I have to fold. He folds too. Queen five, seven jack, junk hands, pocket eights. With only fourteen thousand chips after I posted my big blind, there's no way I would ever fold. I don't care if two guys go all in. I'm just not folding. Uh, this guy made a mistake shoving with a hand like 8 deuce. Remember the hand I showed you previously with like 7 3? It's best never to shove with such a weak hand in the small blind. Chances are someone will always call you with a ace rag or a low pocket pair. And he has 8 deuce offsuit. That was a huge mistake on his part. And. He's out just like that. Okay, I'll I will stop the video right here. I only have 15 minutes for YouTube, so I'll stop the video at hand 103, and we'll continue in part two. See you guys there.